My name is Victor. I am from Sweden. I'm on board as primarily a climber, but uh, I'm also on board doing deckhand job. As a deckhand, you're off shipping rust, painting, sweeping the gangways, and do all kinds of repairs, maintenance, whatever. <laughs> Well, I'm basically a happy-go-lucky type of person. Um, apart from that, I, um, I sing. I sing. <laughs> In the 1970s, Shell discovered a huge Brent oil field east of the Shetlands and the North Sea oil bonanza began. The oil industry spent more money digging up this oil than NASA spent putting a man on the moon. Around the same time they put a satellite in space to examine the Arctic ice cap. The Arctic ice cap performs a vital service to life on Earth by reflecting solar heat and keeping the planet cooler than it otherwise would be. But that satellite noticed something strange happening up there. The ice was getting smaller and smaller, and soon it might be gone completely. The same oil companies that found the black stuff off the Shetlands are moving in as the ice retreats. Vladimir Putin even sent a submarine to plant a Russian flag on the seabed beneath the North Pole to claim the oil and mineral rights. Instead of heeding nature's warning, they're taking down the same dangerous road. That's why Greenpeace shut down the Stena Dom. And that's why we need to stop the new oil rush to the west of the Shetlands. We're not saying that we shall turn off all oil wells straight away. It's, that's impossible and we know that. But we have to start moving in the right direction. We have to have a moratorium, no more deep water drilling. We need to start making a clean, renewable future. We will actually take off for uh, the Shetlands where we will try to launch a couple of inflatables and go out and uh, hang ourselves on the anchor chain of, uh, of this major Stena drill ship which is there waiting for clearance to take off. Um, yeah, our aim is to climb up on the anchor chain and uh, attach ourselves there and uh, we will try to stay there for as long as possible. It's going to be a bit cold and windy, but uh, it's worth it. I bet there's rich folk in in a fancy dining car. They're probably drinking coffee and smoking big cigars. Well, I know I had it coming. I know I can't be free. But those people keep on moving, and that's what tortures me. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the captain of the Stenacan. I'm just formally requesting that in the interests of your safety, you remove your souls from the anchor chain. Uh, sorry to say, but uh, I think uh, that would be too risky in this weather. We are totally okay, but I think it's best that we stay here. And on top of that, it's really, really, really dangerous to drill oil in these places. So you should actually consider that one if you're considered of our health, you know, so thank you. Over.